Good morning, Colts. I'm Adrian. And I'm Kevin. And this is KTV for Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. A reminder from the library to get your overdue library books in, Colts. Please bring back your overdue library books so other students may enjoy them. Also, please bring back your student ID card to check out items from the library. They can scan the barcode to serve you faster so you can read your book faster. I think we want to check out a book about the 44th United States President, Barack Obama. Well, to get a kickstart for your book, how about you watch a PSA video from Jimena and Michaela about Barack Obama? Barack Obama was the 44th President of the United States. He was also the first African American President. Before presidency, Obama was elected to the Illinois Senate in 1996 and then to the U.S. Senate in 2004. He later ran for president and won. Obama faced many challenges, for example, economic collapses, wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, and the continuing of terrorism. Reviving economy, he also hoped to renew America's hope in the world. During his first term, he signed three signature bills, a bill to stimulate the economy, making health care more accessible and affordable, and reforming the nation's financial institutions. Obama became the fourth president to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. In the last year of his second term, Obama spoke at two events that clearly moved him. He spoke at the 50th anniversary of the Civil Rights March from Selma to Montgomery and the dedication of the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Thanks, Michaela and Humana. I'm feeling a bit hungry, so let's see what is on the lunch menu for today. Today we have a cheeseburger, chicken tender and fries, a bean and cheese burrito, and a ham and cheese sandwich. We also have grab-and-go veggies on the side. Please remember to call it so that the lunch menu could change. Let's see how we can use this energy in the sports corner with Lola. Thanks, Kevin. Hey, Colt. Welcome back to another day of sports news. Today we have a wrestling match against Petaluma Junior High School. Make sure to go and wish all of your friends on the wrestling team good luck. Now for a fun fact. Did you know that today in 1860, organized baseball was played in San Francisco for the first time between the Eagles and Red Rovers? They were tied 33-33, and the Red Rovers accused the Eagles of unfair pitching. The umpire chose that the play was fair, which then led the Red Rovers to refuse to finish the game. And that's all for today, Colts. Now back to the KTV studio. Thanks, Lola. Let's root on the Kenilworth wrestling team versus Petaluma. Good athletes have to use creativity when coming up with new plays and ideas. So let's learn more about creativity with Gael. Creativity is a source of happiness to many. Some people use creativity like an artist or a musician. An artist uses it for their art. Musicians use it for their music. Many who use out-of-the-box thinking are using creativity. On KTV, we have been talking all all about how to use it but the truth is yourself have to find it, a way to use it many people have different ways of using it like a gardener using it to find new ways to grow crops can you find ways to use creativity in your daily life you can do it colts pick up our trash on campus now let's watch a video campus clean <laughs> Colts, pick up your trash. Colts, please pick up your trash. I really hate these videos. <laughs> so do I. Thank you, Lauren and Addison. Since we're going to pick up our trash outside, we need to plan it nicely according to the weather. Now let's head over to onto the weather studio with Jada. Today in the weather studio, we have a high chance of rain and a high of 55 and a low of 31. Tomorrow, there will be no more rain with a high of 57 and a low of 31. On Thursday, it will be much warmer with a high of 58 and a low of 33. However, in national weather news, on this day in 1962, an F2 tornado touched down in Marin, South Carolina and tracked eastward to Mullen, South Carolina, injuring one person. Another F1 tornado was confirmed in Williamsburg County, east of King Street, South Carolina. Additionally, 2.8 
2.86 inches of rain fell in Florence, South Carolina, its highest daily precipitation total on record for the month of February. That's all for today, Colts. Let's head back to the KTV studio. Thanks, Jada. It sounds pretty cold, cold, so I'll definitely be wearing some layers. The Tuskegee Airmen must have had to withstand terrible weather and difficult weather, too. Let's learn more about them with a video from Raj. The Tuskegee Airmen were a group of primarily African-American military pilots who fought in World War II. They formed the 332nd Expeditionary Operations Group and the 477th Bombardment Group of the United States Army Air Force. Tuskegee Airmen are significant for several reasons. One reason was the struggle of African-Americans for greater roles in the North American military. Opportunities for African-American participation in the U.S. military were always very limited and controversial. Tuskegee Airmen reflect the struggle of African Americans to achieve equal rights, not only through legal attacks on the system of segregation, but also through the techniques of non-violent direct action aimed at segregation in the military. Thanks, Raj. That's all for today, Colts. Please remember to use creativity and pick up your trash. Remember to turn in your overdue library books. And, and that's, that's KTV. KTV. <laughs>